one, two. You see this when you look in internet, so they go straight forward here. So <clears throat> in our school, we learned to move back before you go forward. In a circle way, moving back before you go in. Yeah, this has, in traditional step work, this training itself, like standing here and just doing this, has a very big value on both sides. Like Tanibu, like the, the foot always stays flat. You don't do this, not this one. You stay flat, so you must, according to your motion, sink here, do your squat, come up, sink, come up. This is an exercise I can suggest to anyone. Another thing here is also, let's say you walk in with the jab, with this, boom, yeah? You walk in, into me, that you can hit here. So yeah, if I don't, yeah, yeah, walk in. And come with my step here, maybe I can. But if I'm not able to take this away and he's walking in, I'm also, maybe interrupted from his step, or we stay same, he hit me, I hit him. Yeah, take the other hand up, like a jab, yeah, like this. So, <coughs> come in. So this is the step we do. Yeah, it's come slowly, or just stand like this, maybe. Stand like this, come here, stand. So, so <coughs> we don't walk in like this, we do this work here. Before we walk in, we do our angle. If he comes with the other step, same, look. So you come, I go, look, you see? Straight forward, happens this, go. Yeah, I can deflect this maybe, yeah, but I will stuck here. So therefore, come in. Don't worry, don't worry, you, you must attack me. Yeah, like this. So go, look. So therefore now slowly, slow motion, we do this, yeah? Coming in an angle, stand. Yeah, boom, boom. So <coughs> why, come a little bit more forward, why, not only to the side and out, why we do a circle backwards? Because if my timing doesn't play well, still without the punch, just a step in, just a step in, step in, yes, and come. Maybe I'm a little bit late and then I will stuck here if I just want to go in and out. Step in, look, yeah. So if my timing doesn't work well, step in, look, yeah? Because he, as a fighter, he also doesn't do only this. He wants to, boom, he wants to step in. When he wants to give me a good jab, he wants to, with this one, he wants to step between my legs. Or he wants to punch me, he wants to step between my legs. Yeah, like this. So this is just to show the step work Without the punch, look, I always have a free way to go. When I use this step work, it is slower than the straight one. Because you lose time with this, but at the end you win time because of the angle you get and you are sure. Yeah, like in Tuisho, when you do some Tuisho movements, you don't go the straight way. You mostly go the round way, but you are sure that you don't get hit. This is, this is the main thing here. So, therefore, now you do a kick here. Here, boom, yeah, kick in. So, I walk straight, look what happens. Again, go, boom, go. Yeah, so therefore, this movement had its value, has its value 
even though most uh, these days Jiang Long Chao people maybe they just go forward it's simpler it's faster and so on so we have our reasons why we do this like we are here then we do this and then come up then we go to this part yeah therefore this is another thing I can suggest you to practice every day because the step just if you practice the form the once the opening and then you will always change the palm you will not practice the beginning again so therefore it's good that you just stand in a white uh, wuji white arms bring your weight onto one side and then the movement starts backward backward and then circle so you see here when you check this leg it's I do little squats all the time then to the other side again here the movement this doesn't start forward and then back it starts backward and then forward like this Yeah, this will give you also ability and control of your steps yeah it's not said that every forward step we do like this but we have it in the repertoire so we can use it and especially when you have practiced it well there are many situations where you are already in the in fight so you want to let's say make an arm drag and he's really locking you so you have this so you have this step practiced well and it's easy to come in yeah i use it in the moving step push hands also a lot this one yeah therefore give atten attention to that in the last previous couple of lessons we learned a couple of basics where i said you, you can repeat this 800 times this 500 times 400 times whatever so this doesn't mean you repeat all of them that amount you focus on one thing for a period of time let's say you do you focus on single palm change yes you can do that 800 repetitions at least you know or you do yedi tsanghua hidden flowers under the leaves and with the palm change every direction 800 but then you don't do the other things so many times it's just the focus on that so here for example it would be the focus only on this or when you do the jibengong one you focus on that one thing yes you can do that 400 times easily a day you know at that speed yeah therefore uh, now when i come up with these things when i say okay this 500 times this 300 times don't be scared it's just the you know one repetition zahl number that you can take in if you want to focus on one thing and bring the skill out of this within a period of time then you do that yeah if not you just do your repetition uh, number as many you would like to do it can be 20 times 100 times whatever and then go on to not forget these movements and with the time the skill will come too it will just take longer yeah but you want to bring out skill in a short period of time and also like dig deep you know so bring out deep things out then i suggest these numbers what i say yeah this is this will be different than normal people practicing bagua yeah then the, the difference you see people see it yeah when they watch you they see it because there is some other power behind it this is the power of your sweat and your uh, not give up and you're going for the unnormal this they will see in your movements 